So I've been doing a little bit of thinking about identity. Um, and I've been, I was comparing it to the many business owners that I've seen over the years. Uh, so I started my first business in 2006 and I worked with lots of small business owners that have been just starting up. And statistically speaking, many, most of them don't make it after a year or two. Most of them uh, have to close shop. And I realized the ones that make it are the ones that are able to kind of tie it to their sense of identity. Uh, and by it, I mean their business or their purpose of why they have their business. And these are often the people that I actually uh, have more fun working with because they're able to do kind of a deep dive of figuring out whether it's their core values and what they believe in, what's right to them and, and latch on their identity to that, or the business itself is their identity, their role in the business. So being a business owner, the person who strives to make the business work, the person who um, has, I don't know, let's say it's a restaurant, has a, an amazing um, uh, dish that they have to put out there because they're, they're famous, uh, you know, family recipe or something. They make it a part of who they are and they feel the responsibility to to, to make this thing not die, to survive, to live on. Um, and those who survive longer than a year or two seem to be the ones who allow their identity to evolve and grow and break and grow and break and grow and evolve. And I'm realizing that it's been my pattern too. Um, early on, I knew that I had to start a business. I knew that a business was, was, was the right thing for me, even though it seemed like a lot of hard work. Uh, it seemed like I have to do a lot of things I didn't want to do, like sales and talking to people and um, going out and learning how to uh, negotiate and, and doing those sort of things. Um, I would have rather have stayed at my office or, or what I called my office back then and done a lot of design work and just kind of emailed it and not ever have a meeting with them. <laughs> but of course, you can't do that. Um, you have to actually interact with people if you're doing business. It's, business is about the people and the value transference between them. Um, and, and so I'm realizing that identity plays a big role in all of this, in, in business and life and work and play. Identity has to do with the roles that we play and the values we attach to that and the decisions we make based on those, um, those uh, perceptions and worldviews and values, whether you wanna call that your uh, you know, introverted thinking, your own thinking processes, you want to call that your introverted feeling, your own values and, uh, you know, morals, I guess, uh, or if you want to call it the way you perceive the world with your own intuition or, or, or whatever, uh, sensory experiences that you've subjectively taken in. Um, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> All of it's the fucking same. All of it is your interpretation and where does your identity come from and do you allow it to evolve? Do you break it yourself? <laughs> do you allow the universe or others or the world to break it for you? And how do you adapt? Imagine you own a business and it doesn't matter what the hell you do, but let's say you started a business for whatever reasons and you meet somebody like me. My job as a marketing, brand marketing person is to talk to you and figure out, well, why did you start your business and what value do you provide for other people and who are you providing it for and helping you to translate that garbly gook into something that's a little bit more coherent and polished when it comes to uh, the marketing uh, tactics, whether that's through advertising or communication strategies or sales processes or uh, digital marketing like websites and social media and all that good stuff. I help you translate that crap, right? to the people that you intend to, to, to uh, put it in front of them that it's best suited for, best suited for. But if you don't know why you do these things or what the value is, you, the value is that you offer, it's gonna be really hard for me to uh, help you do that job. So my job is to help you figure out the things that drive you, that motivate you, that inspire you to do the things that you do. And often it's about finding out where is your identity at? Where was it at when you decided when you made that decision that you either are going to or you have to um, or that you want to uh, create this business uh, and of course business can be literally anything it could be a club it could be an organization of any kind it could be um, a, an event for whatever family each year whatever doesn't matter but let's stick with the business metaphor
So if I can help you figure out or help suss out the information as far as why and the context surrounding the decision that allowed you to decide that this business is important to you and it's a part of your fate, so to speak, then we can extrapolate that this shouldn't change too much, that this is going to be part of your ego and your identity and, and your story you tell yourself and the narrative that you're going to play by, right? So it, it's a play uh, and you're going to be a character and you're going to have a role to play to, to get to this point in the future, whatever that is. And I can help you kind of keep it out here and say, hey, so the question of how you want to, uh, you know, sell to people, keeping this in mind in the future, maybe we should like do it this way. What do you think? And you go, well, sure. And then, you know, you might have another idea of how to, when to hire other people to help you do your business, right? And you'd be like, all right, I'm thinking I can do it this way. I can hire this person, this person. I go, right, but what about this thing you talked about here? Oh, right, this is the way to do it. So this decision that you made before is gonna allow you to figure out your strategy for the future and kind of structure the path that you have to take. And my job is to, at least for the marketing purposes and business strategy, help you stick to that narrative, help you stick to that, um, plan essentially so that you are consistent to your own values your own decisions your own processing to continue playing the identity that role that character and the story that you've chosen and had important reasons and values and all that good stuff to do so i think it's interesting now compare that to the people that i've seen over the last uh, what the hell year is it 13 years or so 14 years uh who started the business and they didn't last past a year maybe two years every single one of those people were people who were stuck playing one role <laughs> the entire time they did not grow outside of it. they did not get comfortable with the uncomfortable they did not break outside of the narrative and the worldview that they had and oftentimes they saw that yes i made this decision this is what i'm doing this is who i am but they didn't put it into the future and make new decisions along the way to check themselves to get to that spot in the future. And not that we ever like are perfect at getting and landing the mark of where we wanna be in the future, but they weren't being consistent with the overall reasoning or the values of why and when and how and the context surrounding the decision to start their business. And they just kind of went with the flow and they let things push them around or they were too stubborn and they didn't let things push them around enough. Either way, they didn't grow. They didn't embrace change. They didn't embrace, evol uh, embrace evolution. They stayed the same person. And when that happens, they kind of die off. It's kind of natural progression of evolution, I think. And so if they're able to evolve, so to speak, and make sure that at least at a abstracted level that the values and the decisions that they made at that time to, to form the business are kind of extrapolated to the future and, and allow themselves to keep having certain um, thought processes go along with, or at least it's going here. Yes, it may not be exactly how I thought we would get here, but at least it's still landing here. Um, then that would be uh, better suited to them and, and making that progress in their business. So tying this all back, uh, identity, um, the story, the narrative that we play, it's a tool. And I think it's our biological nature to stay <laughs> in one identity because the second the identity changes, we die. Not literally, of course, metaphorically speaking, but we become a new person. And when the new person shows up, the old person's gone, essentially. Um, but at least that's how it feels. In my experience, it seems like we can always go back and take from those stories that we've played out already in those different chapters of our life. And we can always play those different roles. We can always play those different identities. We can always choose to have different perspectives however we need to in order to achieve whatever it is we're working towards. Um, and, 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 and if you don't do that, you're not growing. You're, you're staying almost in a, in a childlike state. You're not evolving beyond who you are. Um, think of a petulant child, right? They don't know how to especially younger ones, they don't know how to see from other people's points of view. And the thing is, you, right now, at your age, whatever it is, you have different points of view. Just look at your past. Recognize the patterns that you've already lived through. Look at the times that life has made you change your decisions, or at least how you're going to do things to get towards the decisions you wanted in the first place. And recognize that you evolved, 
and that there are different points in your life, different stories you've told yourself to make you the hero or the victim, and that when you look at them as just what they were, not hero or victim, but rather that's just what it was in those are circumstances, hey, that worked out better when I did this, you could take those parts into the future if you want. Use them as tools. Um, so trying to fall back to business, I think the more successful people in life are the ones who can evolve and grow themselves with their business so that they can achieve a uh, richer, deeper, fuller experience in the future with whatever it is they're planning to do with that business organization, event, whatever. I don't know, ramblings of my mind before I go to work. Uh, the end. Talk to you later. Bye.